It's your returning champion, Elgin Tensity, aka Sergei Trapashkin. There's no better way to end Women's History Month than by discussing the ladies who led the way, until a guy in a sports bra zoomed past them on his bike. On March 18, Tiffany Trent Thomas took the top spot over actual women at the Randall's Island crit race in New York. He has no relation to UPenn swimming champion Leah Will Thomas, but both Thomases had to switch tracks before they could pick up steam and become number one. Thomas is a scientist by day, athlete by night. Female when it's race time, male when it's prostate cancer. Thomas's favorite organ are the blood cells. He has never met a barbell, a bike, or a dog that he doesn't like. Though he apparently didn't like how those light gray pants accentuated his totally not favorite organ because of how much of his lower body is out of the shot compared to his teammates. Why chop it off when you can just crop it out? On the topic of barbells, his deadlift setup is a bit wide, but with the USAPL losing its discrimination case, his form won't even have to be that good for him to ruin women's powerlifting when he gets around to it. His team's homepage says that bike racing is a male-dominated, testosterone-soaked sport, but that of course doesn't refer to the double cheater who rides for them. I know they're his friends, but the second and third place finishers shouldn't be smiling. Condoning this farce makes them part of the problem. They knew they were racing a man, but kept their mouth shut about it anyway. If I wanted to see low-test individuals get destroyed over suppressed identity, I'd watch DSP refuse to show a screenshot of his WWE Champions account. Never be like DSP. Thomas has risen from novice to elite since he started competing as a female in 2018. After a few months, Thomas started winning races and now has 15 first place finishes. That feel when he stands to go number one and goes to stand on number one. At 46, he's the oldest member of his team by 14 years, but beats opponents in their 20s and 30s. Who needs the fountain of youth when puberty has already unleashed a flood of testosterone? USA Cycling's regulations for male-to-female trans athletes don't completely counteract the physical benefits of being a male. That's why he's around women with the thing tucked like John ja Morant at a strip club, but instead of getting suspended for eight games, he gets elevated to first place. Some athletes are quitting instead of putting up with this nonsense. This past December, pro racer and 35-time cyclocross champion Hannah Ehrensman decided to quit the sport after losing a podium spot at a major national cycling event to a biologically male, trans-identifying female cyclist. They don't even have to snip anything off for the chance to cut someone's career short. At my last race at the recent UCI Cyclocross National Championships in the elite women's category, I came in fourth place, flanked on either side by male riders awarded third and fifth places. They caught her between them like the guys from Night at the Roxbury, if they wore tights with their rocks buried. My sister and family sobbed as they watched a man finish in front of me, having witnessed several physical interactions with him throughout the race. Here's one of them, Aaron's Man vs. She-Man. Killips represents nice bikes. Apparently nice guys finished third. This incident has been under investigation since December, but nothing ever happened, probably because the governing body has to protect the alphabet people. In women's sports, pride pushes you to the side. After the race, Thomas posted, Last race with our 2022 LA Sweat team kit. I'm not going to lie, sometimes it made me feel like a superhero when I wore it. I'm shocked that he said hero instead of heroin, which in women's sports is the junk that needs to be removed from the system. They're not going to remove themselves, unless those superheroes join the fantastic 41%. Like the video and subscribe to the channel, now. Everybody drugs them, but it's something. Everybody tries the gear somehow.